Right, back up the top. I've had to turn one of the jets off because we're running out of water again. <laughs> Coming into summer, this is a bit, bit of a problem time for testing, but anyway. Um, yeah, so 51.7 is the battery voltage, which can be seen there. Input voltage has now gone from 100 down to 83.5, presumably because the battery voltage is lower and it's trying to find that maximum power point. Um, so let's turn the solar controllers back on and see if that has some effect. And you can see the input voltage starting to climb back towards 100. So there you have it. That's a direct correlation if ever I've seen one. Um, yeah. 244 watts we're back up to curiouser and curiouser so yeah um, the other important thing that I would like to mention is this guy has been running um, pretty much constantly the only time that it's tripped out I, sh I should say I've got it in solar 2 observe and perturb um, and what was happening was when you go into load now I won't show you on that one because I might do it again by mistake we've got that guy doing PWM diversion the hydro guy and you've got your settings offset and width <coughs> this is the factory setting um, I've got the width down to 0.5 and I was attempting to uh, manipulate this down and I think what it does is when you fuss with that it sets the controller into a resting mode which then unloads the turbine jed clampett goes it's my time now bang jed clampett he fires off and you're back to a situation where this guy's stuck in resting you got to go down and manually turn the valves on and off again um off and on again i should say so yeah solar two observant perturb seems to work um and i've just got to fine tune it when i've got some water now so yeah, pretty happy with the result that it's working because we've had like three days of overcast. We've actually got a little bit more PV going on today. The previous two days were just the, the hanging mist where there's, you know, not much going on at all. So, yep, there you go. Updates.